Jin here. Welcome back to Blendly Honestly. And if you are new, hi, hello, and welcome. I really hope you enjoyed today's video as well. So before I get started, let me ask you guys to please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And also share this video out there with your friends so that they can enjoy it as well. So today's video is going to be a little short. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I bought with my $100 Sephora gift card I got for Christmas. Honestly, I was a little disappointed. I know Sephora is pricey. We all know that. I was honestly expecting to be able to afford a little bit more for $100, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. I went cheap. Like, I bought everything from the sale, from the clearance, because I didn't want to buy a lot of stuff I didn't need. I kind of just bought stuff that I was have been looking at for a while. And when I saw it in the sales section, I was like, okay, I'm buying that. So I'm going to tell you how much I spent all together. I spent $100.67. So the first thing that I grabbed was a Sephora Collections Diamond Cut Buffing Brush. And this is supposed to be designed, a beautifully designed brush to apply and buff liquid or powder onto the skin. The finest synthetic fibers have just the right density for a smooth and seamless finish. Fauceted handle is easy to grasp and fits comfortably in the hand for precision application. And you're supposed to be able to use this with wet or dry. This was $18. And you're supposed to be able to use it with wet or dry liquid or powder. I just thought it looked really cool. This was not one of the items I had been looking at. It wasn't an item I was just like, oh, I need to get. It was just, it looked really cool. It grabbed my eye. And because you guys know I love blue. So when I saw the picture of like the blue diamond, I was like, oh my God, I need to have that. That is bougie. I need it. And like feeling it now. This is the first time I've opened it and taken out the package. The bristles on this brush are so super super smooth like I already have makeup on my face so I don't want to like rub it on my face and get powder all over it this feels like really like silky like this feels super super smooth like I'm going to have to test this out I will have a review of this very very soon because I cannot wait to play with this it's gonna sit right here on my vanity and just look like a little bougie blue diamond like isn't that cute i had to i had to <laughs> so this sack i already opened and have used this but it is the milk makeup kush mascara i bought the large 10 milliliter container of it i have a sample of it but honestly i stopped using this mascara because i didn't really like the consistency and how thick it was but I don't know, like, I let it sit in my vanity for like a month or two, and I just decided to pull it out and use it. You guys saw me use it for the first time in my, one of my Christmas videos. It, yeah, one of my, Chris, my Christmas videos was the first time I used it in a long, long time, and I fell in love with how it looked. Like, honestly, most days I will use this and not even put lashes on because it volumizes, it spreads the lashes so my husband got kind of mad last time I talked about mascara because I said I like my mascara to lift and spread my lashes and he said it sounded like cochino or co cochina so I'm um, sorry not sorry <laughs> but anyways I love this mascara it is super super thick very pigmented it is like the darkest blackish mascara that I've ever had I love it um, this mascara for the large package. My cat is crying because I locked her out of my room. So if you hear her meowing and crying, she's rest the door crying. And I've been in here since 6 o'clock, so I'm sure she's... It's 8 o'clock now, so I, I'm sure she's upset. She has like, separation anxiety. I've talked about it before. Yeah. <laughs> so for this large mascara, I paid $24 for the extra large one. So I love bath bombs. I am obsessed with bath bombs. So when I saw that Sephora had bath bombs on the clearance section, I was like, okay, I see you Sephora. Yeah. So this bath bomb is 
from Seoul, and this is the Genera bath bomb. Ooh, just right out of the container, I can smell this. It smells really good, and it is like, they taped this sucker up, sealed shut. Oh my god, that smells amazing. Does it say, packed with skin-loving sea salt algae extract, extract Kupakao butter, Akia oil, and coconut oil. And this smells so, so good. And the top is blue and bottom is yellow. I cannot wait to pop this in the bath. I may have to do another bath bomb review. It's been a while since I've done one. And then I also, oh, and for that bath bomb, it was $7. So next I bought two Stilla 3D Dazzle Mini Glitter and Glow Sticks. So this is the 3D Dazzle. And then I also bought Shimmering Heights. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you. I have a little bit of shadow on my hand right now. I need to wipe it off. So I'm gonna start with Shimmering Heights. And if you've never used the liquid shadows from Stella, honestly, I highly suggest them. So both boxes of three mini glitter sticks were $17 each. Which, I mean, for such small bottles, it still, it feels a little pricey. Like, that's what I'm talking about. So for it, you need to lower your prices. So this one is my favorite. I've already used this one. And um, when I went to Jen Gerard's birthday party from Gerard Cosmetics, when I went to her birthday party, I wore this one on my lid and it was so, so pretty. So this one is Kitten. And it's like a really pretty pink rose gold. I have another shade called Kitten Karma, but that's not this one. So this one is Cloud. And this one's kind of like a purple gold. These all really have a gold tone to them. The other ones have more of a silver. So this one is Twig. And this one is like a really, really pretty um, copper shade. So that one is a really, really pretty copper. So we have Kitten, Cloud, and Twig. So the next kit, this is the 3D Dazzle. These ones have a bit more of a silver tone to them. So this first one, this is Kitten Karma. So there's Kitten and then Kitten Karma. So this one is Kitten Karma. And you see this one is like pink with silver tone instead of the gold. And then next we have Perlina, which is a very, very pretty frosty silver. So that one's like a white silver. It's super pretty. I love that one. So this one is Golden Girl and it is a gold. That's the last one, Golden Girl. Yeah, if you never used these before, if they're still for sale at like Sephora in the clearance section, I would definitely suggest grabbing them. To be perfectly honest, I feel like $17 for all three is a bit much, especially for it to be clearance. The last thing that I bought was a shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath combo from Philosophy. Honestly, I probably will not use it as a shampoo just because I, I'm way too picky about what I put in my hair. But this is Candy Cane Scented. And again, it is shampoo, body wash, and bubble bath. And bubble bath. But I will probably just mainly be using it as a bubble bath. But it smells, it smells so good. Like, so like when you smell it, you definitely can feel the peppermint or smell the peppermint. And it almost makes you feel like if it were to hit your skin that it's gonna have like that minty feel. I don't know, I need, I have not used it yet. I've only sat here and sniffed it. So that smells so good, but I need to take a, bu a bubble bath soon so I can try it out. I have two things I need to take a bath with, which is this and the, the bath bomb. So this was $12 and I forgot one more thing. And one of the last things that I bought also was a, the Beauty Blender sponge cleaner. So I love the Beauty Blender shampoo for blenders and brushes. It leaves my brushes feeling very, very smooth. I don't know why I bought it from Sephora because I could have got it for a lot cheaper at IMATS this weekend. 
but you know. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I bought with $100 from Sephora from the sale section. Brush cleaner, a brush, bubble bath, two of the Stilla liquid eyeshadow sticks or wand sets, mascara, and a bath bomb. I really, really had hoped I'd be able to buy a bit more for $100, even from, especially from the sale section. Like everything else in the cell section was stuff I didn't need, like the lip sets and perfume and stuff like that. I don't know, it just wasn't interesting to me, I wasn't digging it. So yeah! <laughs> I thought this would be kind of a cool little show and tell for you guys. I have another one coming up, which is my haul from IMAX, which is back here and there are six bags worth of stuff that I bought. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised I didn't spend as much as I thought I was going to. Um, you'll see in the next video how much I spent. <laughs> Keep your eyes posted for that. Oh, comment down below what you guys thought of my little mini $100 shopping spree from Sephora. I'm just really disappointed with the lack of deals from the Christmas clearance. I don't know. Like, I bought this all a few days after Christmas when they had, I think, no, actually. I'm pretty sure I bought all this on New Year's. So I'm pretty sure it was like if you bought and spent the money or if you placed your order before the end of the first, you would get an extra 20% off, something like that. I don't know. Sorry, I'm holding my kitten because she keeps getting into things and being a little shit. I love you. So yeah, um, if you guys liked the video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Thinking it's time I throw all caution.